Hello, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Nena Kerish. Today, I'm going to be teaching you a ritual on how to use scent sleeve for open doors and good luck. Scent sleeve is very, very spiritual, especially in breaking causes out of your life. When you include scent leaf in your ritual, it's always good in paving way and removing every negativity out of your life. So today, I'm going to be teaching you on how to use this scent leaf for open doors and good luck. If you're looking for on how to use scent leaf to break causes in your life, strictly for breaking causes, check on the description space you're going to see where i taught on how to use scent leaf to break costs out of your life today we're going to be looking at how to use scent leaves strictly for open doors and good luck my name is nena kerish if today is the first time of coming around my youtube channel do well to hit the subscribe button subscribe to this youtube channel also turn on the notification bell so that you'll be notified anytime I upload new rituals like this. Do you experience bad luck in everything you endeavor into? Do you experience near success syndrome? Do you experience blockages in everything you put your hand into? Does it seem like other people's endeavors are working out and your own seems not to be working out? This ritual I'm about to teach you today is going to help you to wash out those blockages out of your life, any energy any spirit that is behind blockages in your life this ritual i'm about to teach you today is going to help you to clear it out of your energy and out of your life paraventure you notice that spiritual things doesn't work on you please go ahead and check on the description space you're going to see a place i taught on the ritual to do for spiritual things to start working on you all right after doing that ritual you can go ahead and do this one but if spiritual things work on you you can go ahead and do this ritual so the item you have to get for this ritual is you have to get scent leaf you go to the market you get a very big quantity of scent leaf another thing you have to get is honey you get scent leaf and you get original honey when you get that scent leaf when you get to your house you go ahead and take your native chalk you should have a native chalk in your house but peradventure you do not have a native chalk you can go ahead and pull salt inside of the scent leaf and wash it to banish the negativity that followed it from the market to your house you do not know who has touched the scent leaf you do not know how it was plugged maybe a woman in her mazes plugged it or someone or spirit has touched it all right so you have to cleanse the negativity on the scent leaf before using it for your ritual okay you add salt to it put it on the water and clean it while you are washing it not smashing it just washing it all right you'll be declaring clear of energy that any negativity any evil hand any bad thing that have touched you i rebook and i remove it from you from today i fortify you to be mine and mine you will be all right if you hold that and leave you wash it on that salt water and bring it out but if you have a white chalk the proper way to clean negativity from any spiritual item before you use it is to get that white chalk which is insum. put the scent leaf down after buying it you take the white chalk you start spraying with that white chalk that you remove every negativity from this scent leaf while you are saying it you'll be pissing that white chalk tiny 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 on top of that scent leaf and after you carry it put it on the water and wash it not smashing wash it after washing it you bring it from the water and throw the water away so these are the two ways to remove negativity out of any item you want to use for spiritual work if you're using salt to cleanse negativity out of your scent leaf make sure you wash out that salt kata kata from the leaf remember not smashing the leaf wash the salt out okay make sure the, the leaf is clean after washing it with the salt and water so you go ahead and put it on a separate bowl and smash the scent smash that scent leaf and bring out the juice from the scent leaf while you are smashing it you pray all your heart desires that you welcome prosperity good luck into your life any spirit of near success syndrome you remove from your life any spirit of blockages any spirit of bad luck you remove from your life these are the prayer you'll be making while you are smashing that scent leaf after smashing it go ahead and remove the chaff and turn the water into a can or any bottle all right or any place just turn it in a place that has a cover cover it and keep in a safe place 
place. You leave it for 24 hours. After 24 hours, you start using this water. 1 a.m. in the morning, that is 1 in the midnight. That is the time you'll be doing this ritual and you're going to be doing it for 4 days. Once it's 1 a.m., take that water and take honey. Step into your bedroom. Get water in a bucket. After getting that water, add some quantity of that sense leaf water into that water you have gotten. But when you pour it, go ahead and add some quantity of honey as well into that water. You go ahead and make your declaration while you are stirring that water with your hand. You keep making your declarations that you welcome prosperity and banish bad blood, near success syndrome, blockages out of your life. After making that prayer, you go ahead and start betting that water. Make sure you do not use soap or sponge while betting the water. And also make sure that you stand barefooted on the ground while betting that water. You pray everything you want into your life and banish the one you do not want out of your life. And after you allow the water to dry into your pores and you go to bed, repeat this ritual for four days. Any energy that is blocking your prosperity, that is causing you your success syndrome, or any existing cause in your life is going to be terminated after doing this ritual. Do this ritual. You will be very happy you did. If you like my channel and you like my videos, do well to hit the subscribe button. Subscribe to this YouTube channel. Also turn on the notification bell so that you'll be notified anytime I upload new rituals like this. Thank you for watching and do have a lovely day. Bye.